Hey y'all, I have got one giant butternut squash here. This is one of the largest butternut squash I've seen in quite a while. So this is butternut squash. Um, you will often find them a little bit smaller than this, a little bit more um, or medium size, but you know, when it's squash season, you can find them up to this big too. Like with most of our winter veggies, the biggest issue is this thick outer coat that it has. It's gonna make it difficult for us, or rather, since they are winter squashes, that thick outer coating. So what we're gonna do is take our nice sharp knife, that's really important, cut off the top. Look at how pretty that is, that is so pretty. Take a little bit off the bottom. Now you can see it's got this kind of bulb area as well as the neck. I'm gonna actually cut between the two because I'm gonna have to deal with the bulb a little bit differently than the neck. So now I've got the neck. This piece is pretty easy to deal with, um, but I do wanna get it into more manageable chunks personally. So I'm just gonna slice right down the middle. Now I can put it down on its cut ends and use my knife to start taking off edges. Now what I could do, instead of doing it like that, is I could actually take it like this and cut, you know, down the side a little bit more and kind of square it up. It's gonna take a little bit more butternut squash with it if I do it this way, but it's a little bit easier to deal with. This thing is battling me today and then lie it up on its edge like that, and then again, take a cut down here. And there we go. And then I can clean up just a little bit here. All right, so now I've got half of the neck done. I would repeat that process for the other half of the neck. And then I can, from here, got it in a nice big usable chunk, right? I could shred this, or I could cut it into sort of larger pieces. I could take those pieces. It almost looks like a block of cheddar cheese or something. Uh, smaller pieces, right? So there's some. these are some pretty large blocks. Most often, I would actually want you to take it smaller still so that it's easier to roast. So, you know, that would be a good size for roasting or even small cubes would look kind of like that. There we go. Uh, you could also take this and slice it sort of thinly. Could take those still actually, could sort of julienne them, julienne it, and then make little sticks if you wanted. Really, once you get this butternut squash into this kind of format, it's usable in any way. You can do any kind of real cut with it, shred it, do any of that stuff. All right, we've talked about the neck. That's the easiest part to deal with. And when you've got a bat, big boy like this, it's super nice because you've got a lot of neck. But the bulb is where things get a little bit trickier. I'm gonna take my knife and cut it in half. And now I have all these seeds inside. And that's really why the bulb gets a little bit trickier because there's just all this inside that we have to deal with. And there's not as much just like straight, you know, all of this is usable flesh. A little bit is, um, or a lot of it's taken up in the middle with that center bulb part, or the seeds rather in the center of the bulb. So. Like I do with other squashes, I'm just gonna take my spoon, grab my trusty trash can, take my spoon, roll it around in there, removing the seeds and those stringy bits. And I know you can't see when I go over to the, go over to that, the trash can, but you can see more doing that. All right, so like with my other winter squash, I could take the seeds from the butternut and actually save them and put them in a colander and drain with water and then roast them. That would be pretty yummy. But that's not what we're doing today. So I've now cleaned out the center, so I just have to do like I did with the neck and get this really thick, rough skin off of the bulb so that it's usable. So with this one, I can't really do that uh, that trick that I did for the neck, I'm, I am actually gonna have to just work around. So be careful with this because you need to be able to exert enough force to take the skin off because it's pretty thick, but not so much that you're gonna take your finger off at the same time. 
And that's part of the reason why I say make sure your knife is nice and sharp because it makes it easier. And then you don't have to, you know, a dull knife is actually a more dangerous knife than a sharp knife. So we wanna make sure we keep our knives nice and sharp and well aligned, especially when working with vegetables like this. On the side and fold it very carefully. Just a little bit left. Again, hold it very carefully. I wish there was a better way. Maybe there is and I just don't know it. If you have some like magic trick, please share it with me. Okay, so there's all of that off. Now with this piece, it's the same as with the neck. I can just take it and cut it in as any kind of ways that I want. I have this kind of usable flesh. So from there, it's just continuing to cut to pieces or whatever else you want to do. All right. That's it for butternut squash. I'm gonna keep tackling this bad boy and uh, I'll see y'all next time.